Hey guys, it's Taylor. Um, little unexpected project that I'm gonna be working on today. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about it. Um, first of all, you may hear in the background um, with all of the coronavirus uh, being locked in, uh, my cousin sent me an article about how Americans are stress buying baby chickens um, and how there are no chicks left anywhere. Um, and we are part of the problem. The other day at lunch, my wife and kids decided that we needed chicks and they went out and they bought eight chicks and brought them home and they're just going nuts in here. Um, you can see we've got them in a baby pool. Um, they've got food on the ground, the heat lamp, the whole thing. The problem is that we came down this morning and a couple of the chicks were outside the baby pool just roaming around in our little greenhouse space here. And so, um, what I'm gonna be working on today is using some old materials that I've got laying around. Um, you can see that's a recurring theme for me, using leftover materials, um, which is why I hoard stuff at school, um, because you never know when you'll be able to use something. Um, but using those old materials to build a larger enclosure for these chicks um, that will uh, keep them contained. Um, and then as they grow, um, I'll probably have to put some sort of a lid or screen over the top uh, to keep them inside until they're old enough to go outside. Um, later on, I'm gonna be posting an assignment for you guys. Um, I'm gonna have you do a little bit of research um, and design work um, to help me decide uh, what kind of chicken coop we're gonna build outside. Um, so that is coming, but for today, we're gonna be building a larger enclosure for the chicks using some old doors and other materials that I've got laying around. Um, so let's take a look at that. Okay guys, so I went out to, uh, to my shed, grabbed a couple of old doors that I had out there, um, and I think I've got a plan for how I'm going to um, make up this enclosure. Um, so you can see here, sorry, uh, you can see here I've got uh, two of the doors just kind of setting on top of each other, um, <clears throat> making this L shape. And against the back wall over there, I've got a smaller door. Um, and so I'm going to put the smaller door along the front edge of this here the same way that that one is across the back. And that's gonna make the front wall obviously a bit lower than the back wall. And then um, I'll grab some plywood and bring it in here and trace out where I need to cut it so that I can put an angled end piece on, uh, on the end here. So it's low enough in the front that my kids can reach in and grab their chicks and hold them and play with them and snuggle with them and all whatever else they do. Um, and, uh, and that should give me more than enough structure to then come back a little bit later as they start to get bigger and put some sort of a screen top over top of it um, to keep them inside. Um, I believe that should also give me enough square footage of space for them um, that will get them all the way to you know six to eight weeks old when they're ready to move outside. Um, so I'm going to get set up here and start assembling this thing. Okay guys, so uh, you probably noticed that my time-lapse video paused halfway through. I ran out of storage on my phone, um, so you missed the end of that, sorry. Um, what I've got now, I've got my frame, the front and the backs basically constructed, and now I'm gonna use these um, end pieces. This is just plywood with a little linoleum stuck on it, um, which will be fine for the inside of this. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the end of my frame with a couple of screws. I'm gonna put one down at the bottom 
um, and the, on the front side and the back side into the base of the coop. And then I'm gonna put one at the top here and one at the top back here. And that's gonna stabilize this whole structure so that it can't, uh, it can't move and wiggle the way it does right now. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the two screws in all the way down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna use the square edge of this plywood to get the back of my piece set vertical. So I'm gonna drill those holes and put those screws in real quick. Okay, now that those bottom screws are attached, what I can do is I can move this away from the wall a little bit. And now I can push this back side back until it's flush with the edge of this end piece. And then I can drill my pilot hole and put my screw in and that will secure this back so that it won't move anymore. is stable and not moving. So I'm going to put one more screw in the front here to get this totally lined up and then I'm going to trace out the shape of this so that I can cut off this extra piece of material here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my permanent marker and I'm going to just trace along this front edge here. Um, so that then I can remove this and make this cut and get rid of this extra material so that this just fits a little bit better in our space. So now that that's traced out, I'm actually going to remove this piece, take it outside to my shed, um, and probably using my jigsaw, cut out that shape and then I can bring this piece back in, reattach it, um, <clears throat> and it'll fit well. And I'm gonna just repeat this same process what I just did here at the other end, and then we will be ready to uh, get the inside of this ready and move the chicks from the little baby pool into this new space. Okay, so um, I've got my workpiece clamped to my table, I've got my jigsaw here, um, and now I'm just gonna quickly uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this off straight. Even though I traced out the angle at the bottom part, I'm gonna just cut this straight down um, because that's gonna work for what we're doing here. So I'm gonna cut this one, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna cut the other one, and then we're gonna go inside and assemble this thing. Um, and for now, uh, we'll be done with this part of the chicken pro project. So here we go. Okay guys, so I've got those ends attached after making the cuts. Um, and for now, our little uh, updated chicken coop is complete. You, here it is. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger than it was uh, before um, with these ends attached. It's nice and solid, plenty solid for some little chicks. Um, to run around inside there. So we'll have to get some newspaper and some pine shavings and we'll have to move their water dish and their heat lamp um, over there. Um, but I think they're gonna enjoy their new little uh, home space. So um, there's another little build um, here at my house um, using materials that I already had. Again, I've spent zero dollars on this project um, just using stuff that I already had laying around. Um, so, uh, enjoy that, um, have a good one, see you again soon.
Okay, everybody, it's been a couple days since I built the chicken coop, uh, since we did that project, and I just wanted to give you guys uh, a peek at what it's looking like now with the chicks and all their stuff in it. So here it is. There's Jack and Ben. And down in here, you can see we filled up um, the coop with some pine shavings. We've got some newspaper down and some cardboard to help collect their poop because they are disgusting. A um, couple little guys hanging out in the uh, box down there under the heat lamp. We've got their food situation. These guys are eating a little bit. We made a little ramp for them to climb up. These guys are playing around in the sun. So I think overall, this project was a success. Um, they like their, their space that they've got and they're not getting out anymore. So mission accomplished. See you guys later.